What's up YouTube, it's your boy Nash here, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to open up not one, but three maximum gold mini boxes for, uh, for you guys, all of these of which I got from from the collector store, be sure to check them out, the link, it, the link to their online website will be in the description. What's cool about about this set, and I've and I've actually talked about this a, a few times on the channel. What's cool about this is that it's basically, it's basically Gen, you know Genesis Impact and Toon Chaos, where you get um, where you get seven cards in each pack, but these ones are different because with these ones you get five gold letter rares and two gold uh, gold holographic uh, rares. So so the cards are pretty random, obviously. Um, in just in actually the the placing of the gold the gold the gold hollow rares are completely random. You don't know where where they're gonna be. They may be the first card. They may be the last card. Who the hell knows? This is something that I've been interested in for a while because there are so many cards in this set that are are just absolutely insane. You have cards like you have cards like call call I think call by the grave super super poly. Blue eyes, red eyes, dark magician. Uh, you even also have have a random reprint of Gaia the Dragon Champion, which um, that was a very interesting reprint. Which it was based it it was I guess it was meant for red eyes, dark dragoon, but they ended up like putting Gaia in there, which is kind of weird. But but let's see what 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 we can get. And uh, okay, what is up with this knife? There we go. And if and, and, and you guys notice, notice, I'm actually sporting a, a, a brand new knife. Uh, this isn't mine, actually. This is my mom's. I'm just borrowing it. So, it's a really awesome knife. And also, too, I'm gonna. And also, too, I'm I'm gonna be using some old, uh, some very old, Ultra Pro sleeves. If you, you you guys can tell that they're old because they're like rigid, so to speak. So. Anyway, guys, so let's get into it. Maximum Gold is actually one of the most unique sets of the entire Gold series because with this one, th this one you're getting like really like reprints that are like really good compared to some of the other ones where the reprints were where some where the reprints weren't even that good back you know well, with some of the some of the uh, some of the older Gold series sets. Like I know that with. I think what was it? What was it? Premium gold, inf infinite gold. That set was not too shabby. I mean, I know we got reprints for like Burning Abyss and whatnot, but most of the cards in 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 that set weren't even that great. Even now, they're not even that good, but they're still price. But people are pri are pricing it at like two 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 to like two to like three hundred fifty dollars, which is nuts. Which is really really nuts. And then, of course, with this one, it actually comes with tape for some odd reason. I don't know why they tape it, but... Don't want to ruin the casing, even though I kind of did with the box. But yeah, so so you get four packs in each mini box, so there's going to be a total of 12 packs with this opening. I was planning on getting a full display box, but... I chose not to, but I but I chose not to just because I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to make this a really really long video like I do with my news videos and whatnot. So yeah, but but yeah, so we do have a total of twelve packs here. I'm I'm honestly excited for this because we hadn't had a gold series set in years. I I, I think the last one was I think Infinite Gold, but when but when you talk about like gold rare packs in general. Hands down, I think the last one we got was the movie pack, I think. Which, that one was, was a random one, so. Eh. Eh. Sleeves falling all over the place. Sleeves are falling all, all over the place. Um, so, out of all the cards that are in the set, the only ones that I'm, that I'm, I'm actually after are the Hand Trap, Super Poly, uh, Imperm, and also a, a Xyz monster called called Silent Honor Dark, which is a chaos number. So those are the ones that I'm mainly after the most, but we should, but let's see what we can get. So first pack, everybody. 
So already we got one of the barrier statues here. We have barrier statue of the Inferno. I, rem I remember the barrier statues were like super busted back, back in the day. So it's a really nice card car to pick up. Condemned Witch. Madalshay Knights. I believe this is their Solemn Judgment. So that's pretty cool. Laundry Dragon Mate. Okay, so what's cool about about the hollow about about this is that you can actually feel the texture, which is really cool. That is actually really cool. And Utopia of the Lightning, not too bad. Not a really not a really like pricey card, but still like a really broken card. Dimensional Prison and Trap Tricks Mirror Mellow. So I'm actually gonna sleeve up these two just because they're really cool. I'll put these two. You know what? Let's do this these here and we'll sleeve these two up and if you guys heard barking earlier just a moment ago that's the dog once again the dog just barks at nothing for some stupid reason all right you guys next pack trade in a really nice reprint flame buffalo Alistair the Invoker, I believe this is the alternate art, so that's actually really cool. Miracle Contact, Kitchen Dragon Maid, Fool's Burial Goods, and Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. I believe this is another there. I, I believe that's their Solemn Judgment, so that's pretty cool. Not bad. So Al Alistair the Invoker, shockingly enough, I believe is going for well over $7, I think. And But when it was printed in, uh, what was it, Fusion Forcers? I think it was like a $20 Seeker Rare when, when, when that set was released. All right, you guys, next pack. All right, so we have number 87, Queen of the Night. Really nice card. Perfect for, for those plant decks. Parlor Dragon Maid, not too bad. Lose one turn. Dark Lord Mo Morningstar, another kitchen. Uh, Mecha Fan Beast, Cult Wing, and Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. This is basically the, the Pot of Greed. It's, it's, it's basically trading, but instead of sending an eight star, you have to send a seven star monster, which is really good in Dark Magician. Uh, from what I've been hearing, so not bad, not a bad card card to pick up. All right, you guys, next pack. Extra Fool's Burial, not a really bad pickup. Tour Guide, really awesome, nice, uh, nice little reprint there. Um, but also a Chateau, uh, Gimmick Puppet Giant Grinder, really cool, really cool card. Zodiac Chaka Nine, I find it funny that Zodiacs are now back. And this card is just really nutty. That's that that that's a really nutty card. Stormy Mirror Force, and also Dark Lord Rebellion. So not bad, not a bad pack at all. We got Chalk and I, which I think that's still a pretty valuable uh, card. Things like what what a couple bucks I think. So not too shabby. I'm trying to sleeve these up without breaking the cards. There we go. Trying to. Without ruining the cards, because these things, because gold rares can be ruined at any time. Huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, four packs in, and not too shabby. Not too shabby. Let's see what else, what else we can get. Let us see. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. Um, I don't remember. Wait, what's the card do? If, if, if you control a fire fist, a, fi a fire formation spell or trap, and no monsters, you can spell some card from your hand. Oh, so this is basically the cyber dragon of the deck. That This is basically the cyber dragon of the deck, so that's pretty cool. Union Scrambler, a, nu a nur nurse dragon mate, okay. Utopia Beyond, wow! Ghost Sister and Spooky Dog. Well, personally, I was kind of hoping for this to be to be an Ash Blossom, but I will take that. Noble Knight, eat. Each each tar and Dark Lord Rebellion. I was kind of ho hoping it'd be a um, be an Ash Blossom, but I will take that card. I will take it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Also, to you guys, in, in, in case you guys are wondering, the there's going to be a alternate art for uh, Ghost Mourner and Moonland Chill in the Prismatic Art Collection. Which honestly, that I cannot wait to see what what the art looks like. It's going to be awesome. The White Stone of Ancients. Okay, here's okay. So here's here's what I find funny about this car. So, if you guys are not familiar with Rhyme Style, he he opened up several several boxes of these, and he and he pulled this card, and he ended up pulling a Blue Eyes White Dragon in the same pack. That's what I find funny. So could it happen to me? So we got the White Stone of Ancients. Whoa, yo. 
Okay, Harpy's Feather Duster, let's go. Nice. Barry Statue of the Torrent. Layer of Darkness, wow. Dark Rebellion exceeds Dragon. So we did not get Blue Eyes, but that's all right. We got Dark Rebellion. Literally, this is not a bad card. The artwork on, it, it looks so clean as, as a gold rare. That looks so clean. Circle of the Fire Kings and Mega Phantom Beast Blue Impala. That's actually really cool. You know what? I'm going to sleeve, sleeve, sleeve that one up. Wow. So Harpy's Feather Duster and Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon and the White Stone of Ancients the same pack. That is a really nice pack. That was a, re a really nice pack. Absolutely insane. And, and we still got plenty of packs left, left in, in, in this video. And we still have what? We, we're literally halfway through. So we do have six packs left. Let's see what else we can get. I'm hoping to 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 get that silent honor dark because I have I I because in my dark world deck spoiler in my dark world deck I'm actually running both silent honor uh, arc and silent honor dark so hopefully hopefully we can get dark in this in this opening but we have eater of millions dark dark lord contact wow there we go cyber dragon infinity this is one of the cards that I needed for my black wing deck obviously B black wings in this card they meld they meld so perfectly together. Nice. Um, unexpected die. That's a pretty cool one. Master of Blades. Holy shit. Holy shit. What? And a pl planet pathfinder. You know what the, the hell with that? What the fuck? Guys, we just got red eyes. Oh my god. Literally, these set. I, I believe. I believe this is the third most expensive card of the set. I believe this is going for what fifty dollars. I, I I think it is. That's fucking awesome. Damn. Literally, we're getting literally pull, good pulls left and right. You know, heart. You know, harpies, feather duster, dark rebellion, cyber infinity, red eyes. That's nuts. And we still got five packs left. This pack included. Wow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we have Go 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 Gigas, Barrier, Barrier Statue of the Heavens, Foolish Burial. Wow. Talk about good pulls. Eldritch the Golden Lord, Droll and Lockburn, Mistaken Array. What is this pack? Look at this pack right here. Look at this pack. That's a broken pack. Foolish Burial, still, which is obviously broken. Eldritch the Golden Lord. Troll and Lockbird, look at that. That's an awesome opening. This, oh my god. And guys, I want to point out, this is the very first, my, my first opening video of 2021. The last vi the, the last opening I did, I, I think it was, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was uh, uh, Dragons, of, Dragons, of Le Dragons of Legend, the complete series, was my last opening that of 2020, of 2020 that I did. And if you guys haven't checked out that opening, I highly recommend it. You know what? Let's really quickly. Let's organize this. I am... My workspace is being too messy. And we still got four packs left, guys. That is incredible. And we still got literally the Dragon Maze. Did we get all of them? I think we got all, all the Dragon Maze. That's funny. That is funny. I'm only going to put these together. Just gonna re really quickly uh, organize these. There we go. All right, you guys, four packs left. Let's see what else we can get. Dude, dude, that 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 red eyes though. That red eyes though. That's incredible. Noble Knight Dristin. Wow, Tachyon Transmigration. This is one of the main cards that I needed for my Galaxy Eyes deck. So finally, yes, and a fucking Lancia. Nice. Let's go. Silent Angler, Dryden, Hey Trunate, and Lady Debug. Not a actually not not bad of a pack, not bad of a pack. I am actually gonna sleeve these two up. So we got Lancia. That is incredible. That is incredible. Very happy about that. Tachyon Transmigration. I believe this is the Solemn Judgment for this for Galaxy Eye. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty a pretty nice pickup. Wasn't that a secret rare from World Superstars? 
I think so. I, I think it was. Comment below if you guys know. I, I think it was. All right. All right. Three packs left. We have Barry Sanchez with Inferno. Trade in. There it is. Guy had the Dragon Champion. Manolche Knights. Rhoda. Not a bad card to pick up. Trap Tricks. Miramello and Fulge Burial Good. So, nothing really too crazy cr crazy with that pack. We still have two packs left. Let's see what else we can get. Still hoping for that Silent Honor, but let's see. Flame Buffalo, Gear G Gigant X, Miracle Contact, Cyber Core. There we go. Phantasme. Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this pack. Look at this right here. Cyber Dragon Core, Phantasme, and a fucking Nibiru. My very first Nibiru ever. Yes. Yes. I'm losing my mind. You know why? At this point, I don't even care. I don't even care. That's fucking insane. Oh my god. This is... Oh my god. Guys, I'm telling you, this is insane. Look at my hands. I'm literally shaking. Oh my god. And we're down to the last pack. I don't even know what to ask for anymore, so let's see. I may end up get getting more mini boxes uh, in, in the future, so we'll see. Last pack of Destiny. Let's see what we get. Eater Millions. Holy shit. Another Harpy's Feather Duster. Unexpected Die. Master of Blades. Another Dark Rebellion. Tour, tour Bus and Pathfinder. Unfortunately, we did not get any of the cards that I needed, which is, un which is upsetting, but I'm not going to complain. We got Nibiru. We got Cyber Infinity. Literally, we got some of the best cards from the set. So, do a quick recap. I'm going to do a quick, quick recap here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Right here. That's beauty. That is beauty at its finest, everybody. Even that Red Eyes. Eldritch. Dimensional Prison. And then, of course, the other cards as well. These, these cards as well. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Absolutely insane. Wow. Wow. All right, you guys, that's actually going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I sure as hell did. If you did, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys and you guys want to see more opening videos in the foreseeable future, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any new content that comes your way. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links will be down in the description. And if you guys want to see me open up more, more, more mini boxes of maximum gold in the future. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know. I will try to get get more in, in the future. And on that, this is your boy Nash signing out.